For this F2L case with a soft corner and the edge on top, a lot of people still use a cube rotation from the beginner method. Instead, it can be done without a cube rotation in a much faster way, and there are a ton of tricks you can do for this F2L case. First, I'll show four ways of doing this so that you can do this from any side that you're facing without a cube rotation. These won't necessarily be the best for all situations, but it's a good start. First, if the edge can match the front center like this, then you hold it over here, and for every case, you're gonna hold it over here next to the center it can match. Facing this side, you can pair them up like this, and then insert with reverse sledgehammer or hedge. Now, if you're facing this side so the edge can match the side, again, put it over here and then do this. Sledgehammer to pair them up and then insert. From this angle where the edge can match the back, again, hold it over here and then do this. Move the corner out like this, pair up the pieces with M and then put it back in. Then fix this cross edge with U prime, M prime. And from this angle where the edge can match the side center, then you can do this. Hide the edge with M and then bring this corner over here like this and then pair them up and insert. I only showed one particular case, but make sure you can mirror this between your left and right hand. But depending on the situation, there may be better options. If you have an unsolved slot next to the corner, then what you can do is keyhole, which is replacing the corner with an unsolved corner and then moving this edge in and moving this back. To do this easily, you need the side of this edge to match the side center. In other words, this edge is correctly oriented. If the edge is misoriented so it matches the front, you could do like a wide U before inserting, or you could use F moves to insert, but what I like to do is just rotate so it's a back slot, and then insert with keyhole like this. I find that to be still fast, but more consistent. Or if you have this case, but another different edge is solved and you notice it, and you can find this one's corner, and this one's edge, then you can solve those together using pseudo slotting by pairing the unsolved pieces together and putting the last two pieces in. I have a video all about keyhole and pseudo slotting right here. If you get this for last slot, which is pretty common because you may not notice the corner was solved the whole time, if three edges are oriented, then there's an algorithm set that can skip OLL here called BLE or Brooks last edge. I'll just show two of the best cases here. If you have this rectangle and this block, then what you can do is this. And there's this one where it's this L O L L shape pointing to the back and you move it here to make this block and then do the reverse of that. Another cool thing you can do with this case for last slot is predict or even choose the OLL that you're going to get. This works best when the edge can match the front or the back because you can front back mirror this algorithm and how you would insert this edge here is like this. If you don't usually use E moves, this has some new finger tricks. You have to make sure the hand doing E moves lower a bit so it doesn't touch that layer. This hand is fine since the E moves happen during this grip. E can be done with your middle finger. So this is E prime and this is E. It's the opposite direction of U. And how you would think about this is you take this edge and put it up to the top left, move the F to L edge in, and then undo the first three moves. And this idea works as long as the edge is not already at the spot. So I can start with the edge here or here. I'll just show this one. So you would move this one up, get the edge in, and then go back down. If there are two oriented edges, then just make sure that the misoriented edge is at the spot that you're going to insert up to. Then when you do this algorithm, you get the OLL and you can instantly go into it having predicted it. Here's another example. You can see what the OLL will be. This one should be yellow. And you just make sure the misoriented edge is here. Move this one up, get the edge in, and go back down. If you have a one oriented edge, then it won't look like an OLL, but you can pretend any one of these is the other oriented edge. For example, if I want this one to be the other oriented edge, then I just have to move this one here and then get this edge over there, and then it will be oriented. So that looks like this or I could have chosen this edge, or I could choose this one. But if you want to choose the one where the F2L edge already is, then instead you just choose the one that's already oriented. And then this one will show up over here. So that would look like this. This means that when you get this case with one oriented edge, you actually get to choose which OLL you get between these three options of where to put the last yellow. 
And as we can see in this case, if you choose here or here, it's a very bad OLL, but if you choose this spot by moving this yellow one here, then it's actually one of the best OLLs. And if three are oriented, then no matter how you do it this way, you will get the same OLL as what you see, so just like that. But in this case, you could also skip OLL using BLE. Now, if you want to use this trick and the edge instead matches the side, then it's a little bit more difficult, but you still can do this. How it works is the same idea. Since we're solving to here, then you would just want this spot to be the spot you insert to. And in this case, if you want to predict the OLL, we can pick the misoriented edge and then move this one up here. Although you have to move it up differently, and that would be like this. And then move this one in, and then come back down, which is the same moves as before. This can also be done very fast, but the finger tricks are generally harder and more risky, so you could do that or you could just rotate and do the other way. It's up to you. So that's it for this video, and I hope I gave you a lot of tricks you can play around with. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.